One bird's eye view at us the show. Oh, it shows. Against God's plan, we let it go. Oh, no. Rain your love down, won't you let, let it rain? Cleansing us from hunger and hate, war and greed. Rain your love down, won't you let, let it start. Wash the wicked mind and the sick at heart. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Yeah, let it rain. Let it rain. <coughs> rain down some love on us. You know, the world is going insane. Y'all know it. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. I want to welcome you to the mental house. So much beauty that was presented for us. I mean, in this existence, just so much, so many things to do, so many things that we can be. Just, just a lovely blessing from God to give us the gift of life. And then when you have man with his reckless, greedy, venomous ways. And some men more so than others, some more than others, some more than most. That's the new t-shirt, by the way. Um, some more than others, some more than most. Who are relentless in their greed pursuits and are just relentless in their inability to share the resources that God has made for all of us. Some of them, some people want it all. Some groups of individuals want it all. And they want it all and they want me to starve. They want my grandchildren or people that look like me to die so that they can live. There's, there's, I understand the laws of survival. I understand you know, human nature to the point that if I'm hungry and you're eating a sandwich, guess what? I'll probably bop you in the head and take it, right? That's a, a natural law. I can understand that. So you wouldn't watch a person that's starving to death. I'm sure you wouldn't be stupid enough to sit down in front of him and open up a container full of food and uh, begin to eat. Well, America is so sick that and some of the people, I won't say the people in this country, and some of the people who have been given an, an enormous amount of privilege and don't recognize that they are privileged, can do things like this for a joke. They can um, do things that are detrimental to all mankind as a whole and think it's funny and have no remorse. And I'm saying that to say, shame on you, San Antonio, Texas, to keep the mental police officer on the force who took a feast, took feces. Not only did he go into the women's bathroom and smear feces all in there and, and put doo doo all in the uh, in commodes in the women's bathroom, which shows you he has a severe mental problem. It hasn't been addressed. It won't be addressed because the people that's in position and in power look like him. And of course, um, they can get away with a lot of things. In this particular case, the man defecated on a homeless man's sandwich and gave it to the homeless man. Now, what officer of the law would even think to be so callous and nasty and crude and just deliberately insane? That is actually a mental issue, a serious mental issue. And the fact that the San Antonio Police Department can still allow this guy to be on the force 
And there's so many lies going on around the case. The technic they want to got them off on a technicality, saying that there there wasn't enough days that passed, and, or so many days passed now that we can't find the homeless man. Just a bunch of craziness. That I hope the people in San Antonio lobby to get this individual off the force. You know, we cannot continue to pay for a police force that abuses us, that beats us, that kills us, our sons, our brothers, our husbands, our our uncles, um, brothers. It does not, we, this is insanity. And we're going to have to start getting a grip. And we're going to have to lose some to gain some. And we're going to have to be willing to do that. But the end game is we cannot allow them to keep doing these things in these police departments unchecked. They, the FBI have, have already came out with statistics that the um, that white supremacists have been filtrated, the police departments. Okay, that's one thing to know the information. The second thing is what you're going to do about it. And if you don't do anything about it, what do you expect us to do? See, that's the bigger question. What do you expect us to do when you've already stated that the police departments are full of race soldiers and white supremacists that are acting on their prejudices and biases. So now we have to be subjected to Ku Klux Klan members when we call for law enforcement, even though you paying these people as civil servants. Something has got to get. I ask that any sane and rational person up under the sound of my voice that is in San Antonio, Texas, you know what you got to do. Y'all know what y'all got to do. You know what you got to do collectively. And you know what you have to do as a, as a, as a community. Y'all cannot allow police like that to continue to serve you. Because they're not serving us. They're not serving you. They're not doing anything. I, shame on you. Shame on you. To even put on a uniform and say, I'm a enforce the law. With that being said, if you like what you hear, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.